In this video, I want to show you the best transitions and effects in Adobe Premiere Pro on my YouTube channel. This will be a compilation of the best videos that I hope you enjoy. And so, write in the search for lens distortion and find this effect. Then apply it to our video and go to the effect controls window. Go down a little bit lower and start twisting the curvature slider. Oh my god, it's beautiful. But that's not all. We click on the timer icon and set the first keyframe. Then we move the slider further and set the second keyframe so that our image changes. And we get this beautiful effect. To do this, we upload your own video here, you can practice on mine. I'll leave a link to it in the description. After that we put keyframes and animate so that our sneaker remains in the same position as at the beginning of the video. You can zoom in, change the position, but the most important thing is that he was approximately in the same place. And now you can see the result on your face. You can make the video smoother. To do this, right click on it and click on Nest. Then in the effects, look for Warp Stabilizer. Apply it to our video and wait a couple minutes. You can copy this video by pressing the Alt button. Then right click on the video and select speed slash duration and turn on reverse speed. This way our video will play in reverse order. First we need to select all of our videos, right click on them and click on nest. Find the moment where the scenes change, right click, select the last option and click on speed. Pull out our video bar a bit to make it more convenient. Next we press CDRL and use the mouse to put two keyframes. We can pull the fishing line up like this to increase the transition speed. We can also pull these things and make the transition smoother. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. The effect I want to show you is the ghost effect. First, add the video to your timeline and hold down the ALT key and drag the clip to the track above to create a duplicate layer. Now move the duplicate a little bit forward and make sure it is selected. Then go to the effect control. Now place the playhead at the beginning and set the opacity to 20 and click on the stopwatch next to it to create the initial keyframe. Move the playhead slightly forward and set the opacity to 100 to create the second keyframe. You are free to choose when this effect ends. Now, I want to show you a cool transition that can be done pretty quickly. Let's add some videos. Drag the second video under the first video so they have some overlap. Now go to the effects panel and search for gradient wipe. Drag it and apply the gradient wipe effect to the first video. Now move the playback head to the beginning where the videos overlap and select the first video and go to the effects panel. Click on the stopwatch next to the transition completion to create the initial keyframe. Move the playhead to create the second keyframe. Move the playhead to the end of the overlay and set the transition completion to 100 to soften the transition increase the transition softness to 50. We've got a pretty good transition but we can make it better. To do this drag the third video in the top track over the second video so they overlap. Drag the gradient wipe affecting your third video and select it. Then move the playhead to the beginning of the overlay and go to the effects control. Set the transition completion to 100 and click the stopwatch next to transition completion to create the initial keyframe. Move the playhead to the end of the overlay and set transition completion to zero to create the second keyframe. Also set softness to 50. Now let's disable the gradient erase effects for the first and third clips and use a different method. Place all the clips on the same track one after another. This time drag the gradient erase transition, which is in the video transition section between your videos and click OK. Select transitions and in the effects, make sure the alignment is set to center at cut. Let me show you how to make a paper transition like this in a couple of minutes. By the way, I hope you already liked it. Adding two video clips to the Premiere Pro timeline. Now we're going to create a basic paper transition between these two clips. So move the indicator to the middle of these clips. Then move back five frames by holding the shift key and pressing the left arrow key. Now click on that little camera icon to take a picture of that frame. Navigate to the location where you want to save it. Create a new folder and select this folder as the location of the snapshot. Select PNG for Format and don't forget to enable import to project. Now click on OK. This will make the snapshot in the project window. Now add the snapshot image above your video clip. Reduce the duration of the snapshot layer to the middle of these two clips. Now select the snapshot layer, right click and click on edit 
in Photoshop. This will open your image in Photoshop application here. I'm using a paper texture for this transition. You can download it on the internet. Just drag it onto the image surface and choose the overlay effect you like. Now, export this image by pressing Alt plus Shift plus Control plus W select PNG format and click on Export, go to the snapshot location and replace the snapshot with the image. Now let's go back to Premiere Pro. As you can see, our first transition is ready. To make it more lively, let's add a sound effect that you can download online. First, we need to select the video and duplicate it up. Then we go to the effect section and find there the strobe light effect. We can change the duration to 0.1 and the period to 2 seconds. Then we set the keyframe from 0 to 100%. And this is what we get. Looks like someone's gonna get epilepsy. Change the strobe parameter to make layer transparent and also shift our top word a little bit to the right and we can already see the time distortion here. But to make our effect more cool, we find an effect called VR chromatic aberrations in the effects list and apply it to our top video. Also add an effect called black and white and put it between the effects we added earlier. Also, I think we need to zoom in on our layer to make this effect look much cooler. We have our video. First, let's create an adjustment layer and place it just above our video. Next, let's find an effect called transform and apply it to our layer. Let's put a keyframe against the scale parameter and bring our video as close as you need it to be. Then right click on the keyframe and select the bezier parameter. Now let's find the directional blur effect and apply it to our adjustment layer. Let's put the keyframe in the middle and choose a value of 42. Then go back to the first keyframe and set it to zero. Do the same with the last keyframe. To make the animation smoother, you can play with keyframes. Next up, we have an awesome technique perfect for enhancing music videos. In these two captivating clips featuring a talented dancer, let's elevate the visual appeal. To achieve this, let's seamlessly introduce the second dancer into the first clip. Here's the trick. Duplicate the second clip by holding down Alt and dragging it up one track. Now, position the playhead at the initial frame of the clip. Right-click and select Add Frame Hold to freeze the entire sequence. Extend this frozen frame over the first clip for about 20 frames. With the clip selected, navigate to the effect controls, locate the opacity property, and choose the pen tool. Craft a precise mask around the dancer in the program monitor, ensuring accuracy for optimal results. Take your time. It's a single frame, but the meticulous effort pays off. Returning to the timeline, let's create a captivating flickering effect. Trim the clip to a a single frame, then add Gaussian Blur. To ensure the blur encompasses the entire frame, right-click the clip, choose Nest, and name it Dancer or something fitting. Head to the effects library, apply Gaussian Blur, and adjust the blur intensity in the effect controls until the dancer is subtly visible. The blur now extends beyond the mask, creating a mesmerizing effect. Duplicate the nest, decreasing blur intensity progressively to reveal the dancer. Continue this process until the dancer is completely visible. The result is a visually stunning sequence that adds a dynamic touch to your video. Moving on, drag the first clip above the second, allowing an overlap. Set the playhead where the transition begins, select the clip with the pole, and and in the effect controls, use the pen tool to create a mask around the pole. Animate the mask by adding keyframes, adjusting its position frame by frame until the first shot gracefully transitions into the second. The result is a subtle yet effective transition that keeps your audience engaged. Lastly, let's delve into a dreamy transition perfect for transitioning from a scene of someone sleeping into a dream sequence. Align both clips, add an adjustment layer, and apply the Lumetri color effect. Now, head over to the effect controls and find the exposure property. We're going to animate it to create a bright flash. To do that, move the player to the point in between the two clips. Then set an exposure keyframe and an increase it until the screen is white then. With the play, it move back in time and click the reset button to set the exposure back to zero. Then go back to the play it and move further in time. Now, again, set the exposure to zero. Oh, and don't forget to right click the first keyframe and choose ease out. Then right click the second one and choose ease. And this makes the animation super smooth. Next, find the Gaussian blur effect and drag it underneath the LRI color. Move the play it to the first lyric keyframe and then go to the Gaussian blur effect. Click the stopwatch icon to set a keyframe. Now move to the second Lumetri keyframe and go back to blurriness. Increase it a bunch and move the play it further in time again. Set the blurriness back to zero by clicking the reset button again. Don't forget to ease the keyframes now. It's time to finish off the effect. Find the turbulent displace and drag it underneath all the effects. First set the amount to zero, then set a keyframe and head over to the play ATS move to the middle of the animation and increase the amount to something around 90. Then grab the play it again and move to the end of the effect. Set the amount back to zero, ease the keyframes. First, we duplicate our video and move it to the top. Next, search for fast blur, find this effect and apply it only to the top clip. Next, in the blend mode section, choose lighten. 
After that we can edit the opacity a bit and add as much blurriness as you think necessary. Also to make the picture more beautiful, you can change the blur dimensions to another and immediately feel the difference. First we need to select the video and duplicate it up. Then we go to the effect section and find there the extract effect which we applied to our top layer. Now the most important thing, we need to change the black and white levels until there are no thin lines left in the picture. Otherwise the effect may not work. Switch the blending mode to screen. After that, go to the effect section again and find the VR glow effect and drag it to our top layer again. Here you need to twist the settings a bit, you can do as I show on the screen. Also put a check mark against this item and choose what color will be highlighted our motorcycle. In our case it's this kind of lightning effect, so it's going to be blue. After that we go to the opacity section and create a mask around our characters so that the glow is only on them. We poke on the timer icon and animate throughout our entire frame. To remove unnecessary moments, you can spin the mask feather slider. How to create the sweep and glowing edges effect in Premiere Pro 2023. And so we have our video. Let's duplicate it up and then change blend mode to screen. Next, let's add the find edges effect, apply it to our video and check the invert checkbox. Next, let's add the effect tint and change the color to the color you want. Now let's find the VR glow effect, check the box next to the item, use tint color and make the color the same as before. We can change the first three items to make the effect a bit cooler. After that, let's add the turbulent displacement effect. You can change the parameter amount to make the picture many times better. And also change the size to 25. And now the final touch. Let's add an extract effect to our video. Drag it to the top of the effects, and set it to zero for softness, and also set the keyframes here, starting at zero. Around the last keyframe, we can change the opacity like this. And here we have an effect like this. Give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Bye.